My name is Brian Glick. Today we're looking at reversing directions with our sumigeishi. So a question had come up about changing directions when we're doing sumigeishi, when we're encountering resistance. And you can do this with and without the gi. We're going to show it today with the gi. The grips are similar but not identical because we like to use the belt and the uniform to be able to maintain our grips to control our partner. But the mechanics, the idea, which is that you can use your partner's resistance as they're bringing their weight forward off to one side to change directions under your partner and sweep. That's the same, it doesn't change gear or no gear. And I, ideally what we're looking to do is not just simply change the direction that our partner is going, but rather change our relation to them by moving our body underneath them so that we can create space into which they can fall on the opposite side and also so that we can maximize our leverage, our ability to turn our partner over. Trying to sweep with sumigeishi without moving your body is gonna be very difficult. So we'll look at one entry. There are many entries. We're gonna use the gi, so we're gonna take a cross grip and a frame arm. We're gonna draw our partner forward. We're gonna take the underhook here and give our partner the overhook. We're gonna tuck our legs so that we're in the half butterfly. Just rotate the foot part. So you have the half butterfly, your second foot is through. Ideally, shoelaces on the outside of your partner's knee, head beneath your partner's head. We're looking to capture our partner's far sleeve, so we're gonna give a little pull, bring them forward, capture their sleeve, draw it in. The idea is to keep their hand away from the mat so we can either punch it towards their belly or pull it into us. For the, the situation that we're looking at, we didn't do a good job with this. Either they freed their hand entirely, or even with our grip, they were able to put their hand on the mat. Okay, it doesn't matter which scenario, the idea is that now our sweep, which is in normally for sumigeishi, is out in this direction where we're tucking our body, lifting and sending our partner out. Uh, that area is now blocked because our partner has their hand here on the floor, even out a little bit farther. So as we're going, the situation might look something like this. We're facing a partner who's active and take our grip. We control, we're going to move, and we're in the initial position for sumigeishi. We feel that our partner's resistant. They have the hand on the floor, and very often what they'll do is start to post this leg out. So that even if we have the hand, you find your partner with that active foot basin. And now driving into the, all of their weight is very difficult. So when we have the hand that's posted and we have the foot that's posted, our body is initially out to the right, we're gonna change our direction. So using our, our right hand under back grip, our underclass grip, we're gonna move towards our partner and we're gonna take our hip from being on the right side to be more or less underneath our partner. Notice also that our head is moving across. Now from here, we're gonna settle into more or less like a butterfly guard position, but the difference is our right foot is hooking. It's still that connection between our leg and our partner's leg. When we go to finish the sumigeishi, we're gonna use our bottom leg to hook our partner's leg, so it's gonna look like this. The left hand, which previously was controlling our partner's wrist, this now becomes the underhook on the far side, and we're gonna double up on the belt grip. So there's a moment where we have a double grip underneath to so get two underhooks. Then we're going to switch our feet. Our left foot is gonna move across and it's gonna form a hook on our partner's leg on this side. Your right leg is gonna follow. It's gonna move off of your partner's leg and it's gonna become the, uh, the bottom drive leg on the far side. The right hand is gonna scoop and it's gonna control. So sometimes your partner will base their left hand realizing what's going on. You're gonna capture it, draw it back. Now from here, we can change directions and sweep in the opposite, the opposite fashion. So, we're facing our partner. We do our work of getting our underclass. We catch and we begin the sumigation. So from here, this angle, you're gonna be able to see the legs. Initially, the right leg is forming the elevator hook and the left leg is the drive leg. As we go and execute our sweep, we bring our partner forward and we find they've got a strong base out to the side. We need to take our body from outside to underneath our partner. We begin by moving our head and sliding our hips through. The left hand here becomes an underhook. Very often your partner will be driving forward here to try to flatten you, so the left hand here becomes an underhook and controls the belt if we're wearing the gi. It can become an underhook if we're not. Now we switch our head and we look to move our weight out to our left side. The left leg becomes the elevator. So on this side now, we're putting our shoelaces inside our partner's hamstring. The right foot, which previously was the hook, is now the drive leg. We move our hips out. 
We raise our left elbow. The right hand here is gonna capture. It can go anywhere from the elbow all the way up to your partner's wrist. Some of that you don't control. It depends on where they choose to base. If he bases close to me, I'm gonna go elbow to elbow. If he bases farther away, I may choose to go elbow to wrist, or in some cases, even change direction completely, sit and bring that arm inside. Now, bottom leg becomes a drive leg, head goes to the floor, we lift and take our partner through. So one last time. One, two, three, we're going for sumigation. We feel our partner posting, especially now driving in a little bit. So we switch, we move our body across. Look how we start by moving our hips and our arm. We turn our body to the outside and now we have the identical, symmetrical leg position on the far side. We gather our partner's arm, either with wrist to elbow, elbow to wrist, or elbow to elbow. We draw that base out, take our drive leg, push, elevator hook lifts, we rotate, and we find the same sweep on the other side. Your ability to be able to change directions with sumigeishi is very critical and you can do it based on your partner's reaction. The key to remember is, not, is that you're not just pulling your partner across you to the other side. It requires a reorientation underneath your partner that takes your hips from a drive position initially out to one side to a position directly underneath them and then usually for the finish out to the opposite side. So you're swinging your body in underneath. Sometimes that is in stages, it's in steps rather than being one single motion all at once and your grips are changing. Initially, an underhook and sleeve, double underhooks. Finally, we finish with an underhook on the, uh, the original side is the sleeve, the far side is the underhook, and we're able to finish this week, okay? So hopefully this was helpful for you, you enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon.